All right, you guys, I'm super excited. I'm about to discover the one and only Iron Maiden for my first time ever. Yo, I'm waiting. This crowd looks insane. What is going down, world? Uh, welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and here we are. Today, I discover Iron Maiden. Now, this isn't a request. This is not a suggestion. Um, I was scrolling on the internet, and I saw someone post a reaction. Like, you know how it says, hey, I reacted to this for the first time. And I was like, Iron Maiden. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I used to, when I battle rapped, I used to wear an Iron Maiden t-shirt because I thought it was edgy. You get it at like a Hot Topic or like an independent records. And I would battle people, you know, because I was into the underground independent hip hop scene. And I just thought it looked cool. It looked all edgy, like the indie rappers, like, you know, like the skater type vibe. But I'm not going to lie. The imagery from Iron Maiden with that like mummy skeleton thing always kind of freaked me out. I always thought it was music of the devil, to be honest with you. So I never listened to it. I don't think I've ever heard an Iron Maiden song in my life unless it's on a commercial, if it's in a movie or in like a guitar hero something. I might have heard a piece of something. So today I decided to discover Iron Maiden for the first time. Let's get it. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and comment on all the content. But if you rock with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. Here we go. 40. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys Podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, you guys, let me get this logo down and pull the video up. Before that, don't forget to support the original content on the channel. I'm a hip-hop artist. I'm a rapper. Grew up rapping all my life, listening to rap music, soul music. But I do have original content, music, music videos, a bunch of cool stuff. But on YouTube, I also do challenges and do interviews, original content. When you support the original content the same way you do these reactions, it helps me produce more of it. And I got some fire coming at you. I promise you that. Now, the method to the madness, I saw Hollywood Be Thy Name floating around. I don't know if this should be the first thing I react to. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, sometimes, like, I reacted to, uh, what was it for the first time? It's Southern Rock. Uh, Leonard Skinner, Free Bird, live. I like reacting to live performances before studio music. There's something about the live performance that you can't get anywhere else. You can hear... Are they really good singing live versus their studio recorded album, especially in this era, hip hop, let's talk rap, where there's mumble rap, there's auto tune, there's all this weird stuff going on in the pop music space, whether it's pop, pop punk, or pop rap, or mainstream rap. So I really enjoy going back to the classics and seeing brothers play live. Hollywood Be Thy Name was the one floating around. I just randomly picked live in Toronto. I don't know. Hopefully we find a gem here, but let's get into this. This is Iron Maiden, and yeah, you guys know on the channel, I've been taking the time to uh, open my mind and heart to new things that I would never typically try, things that, you know, let's say maybe because my upbringing, right, uh, I was in a Christian household, so like rock, the, the, um, the theatrics of rock, the visuals of rock, where oh, that's of the devil. So I never check certain things out. And I'm opening my mind to just see what's really here and make an assessment. Also, I was a rapper, man. I did hip hop. I listened to rap, soul music, R&B. So this is going to be fun. Um, Iron Maiden. And this is saying, this is as like 2008. And I know Iron Maiden's been around. So I don't know. Let's get into it. Let me bring it back. The beginning, I played the beginning of this. And there was like a jet with Iron Maiden. Of, no, not a jet. A plane. These brothers are crazy. They're, I know they're iconic just for the t-shirts alone. I just know. I know they're iconic. It's crazy. You see Iron Maiden and a ACDC everywhere. All right, let's get it. Hollywood be thy name. Reflected 
how old is he? His vocal. Okay. Okay. I got to. I'm getting ahead of myself. What about those lyrics? What the. I'm waiting. I'm waiting in a cell. The sands of time. It's five o'clock. The gallows. I mean, who paints a better picture? I'm over here. What is this about? Look. If you're a rap kid from the other side of the tracks and you see an Iron Maiden t-shirt, you think, I'm worshiping devils. And blah, blah, blah. I didn't even know he sang like that, bro. Dude has an ill voice. Dude sounds incredible. This is like some story. Like, I'm like, this is like he, I don't know. It just felt like a movie, that intro. Like, now this as they start rocking, this is where it gets a little shaky for me, where I'm like, should I have listened to the studio album? Maybe I'll pull up the lyrics, because the lyrics sometimes get harder to decipher as the performances go on, but I could make out that intro. He just painted a perfect picture. I'm just over here like, ooh, ooh, who, who, who's this story about, man? Some Billy the Kid? Like, what's, are we going back to the medieval era? Like, wh- what? Anyway, sorry, the storytelling's amazing. This sounds amazing. The crowd is crazy. I'm thoroughly impressed and thoroughly surprised. Now, don't get on me, you guys. Like, impressed? What do you mean? These are one of the greatest groups of all time, you dummy. Hey, I get it. I get it. Hey, this is my first time. This is my first time, bro. You know what I mean? Cherry's been popped. This is crazy. Did he hit him with a Dimash high note? Like, what the f- was that? He hit him with a real high note. Wow. I just got goosebumps. Hats off. Hats off. This is the genuine article. This is the genuine article. This is what people copy. I could be wrong. You guys let me know. This is this my intuition. This is the genuine article. So if you're familiar with the channel, I react to random stuff, but I have a lot of European folks who send me requests. And they asked me to react to like Nightwish and all these things that I, I'm not familiar with because I'm from America. And now I understand. I might need to get into Metallica too. I'm not into Metallica. Like there's a bunch of stuff that I just don't know. And this, I have a, I just, this is the genuine article. People are copying this to this day. Because a lot of that European rock that I'm hearing, I'm like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Because I'm hearing it for the first time. I just got slapped in the face because I believe that a lot of that stuff is copying this. Um, Now I need to go back because, like, I already know just from the T-shirts and the name. The fact that I know the name, it's just I already know that these dudes are are what what it is. This is the truth. Um, Tap in in the comments. Um. This is, I'm, I'm going to pull up, I just want to rock with these brothers because this is amazing, but I'm going to pull up the lyrics and read some of them as well because I can't understand it as much when I'm wilding out in here, but I, I just want to feel this because I actually, I don't feel all my reactions. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, these dudes are good. I always try to give positive feedback. I'm really, this is like 
coursing through my veins. There's something going on. Like I'm just like, bro, these. This is the genuine article. Now let me know if someone came before them, but I just have a feeling these are the people who set the trend. And the ripple effect has stood the test of time, even to this day. Like when I'm doing these reactions from uh, some of these rock groups that are doing these festivals in Europe, European bands, they, this is what they're emulating. This is what they're emulating. Maybe they're talking about their country. Maybe they're talking about their culture. But a lot, so there's, I, can, I can't name it off top, but there's like five reactions I've done that's reminiscent of this. And I know Iron Maiden came before them. This is bananas. This is amazing. I'm probably watching history at some at some capacity here. Wow. I don't even know enough about instrumentation to know how much I'm missing out right there with these, I guess you'd say guitar solos. I mean, this dude is running across the straight stage sprinting. I'm a rapper. I don't know if you know how hard that is to do during a performance. It's freaking insane. And their imagery, that iconic, like, I don't know if it's a mummy or a skull, but it's just in everything they do. You couldn't like, when you think of hip hop logos, some of the greatest, the greatest logo of all time, I would say, is the Wu-Tang Clan, right? Because it just stands out. It's iconic. Wu-Tang Clan and hieroglyphics. Because it's simple, it stands out, and it's iconic. But Iron Maiden, that face is bonkers. Oh, my God. I'm tripping out that I was wearing T-shirts in battle rap contests and never thought to buy a CD, because back then there were CDs, the music wasn't as accessible. So if you wanted to listen to something, you had to commit. And I was just going through my hip hop phase. I was like, oh my God, I gotta get the new LL. I gotta get the new DMX. I got ah. I didn't have money like that to be like, I'm gonna take a chance on Iron Maiden. And, and there was nowhere to go listen to it and be like, hey, let me just check this out. Like, it's just different back when I was coming up. But uh, this is incredible. I pulled up the lyrics. I wanna read the lyrics because, um. This dude is a poet. I, did he write this? Does he write all their their music? Do they have co-writers? How does this work with Iron Maiden? But I'm waiting in my cold cell when the bell begins to chime, reflecting on my past life, and it doesn't have much time. Because at 5 o'clock, they take me to the gallows, pull the sands of time. For me, are, oh, sorry, 
pole, the sands of time for me are running low, running low. Yeah. When the priest comes to read me the last rites, take a look through the bars as the last sights of the world that has gone very wrong for me. Can it be that there is some sort of error hard to stop this, the surmounting terror? Is it really the end? Not some crazy dream? Somebody please tell me that I'm dreaming. It's not easy to stop from screaming. The world, the words escape me when I try to speak. Tears flow. But why am I crying after all? I am not afraid of dying. Don't I believe that there never is an end? As the guards march me out to the courtyard, somebody cries from a cell. God be with you. Is there a God? Why has he let me go? As I walk, my life drifts before me through the end is near. I'm not sorry. Catch my soul. It's willing to fly away. Mark my words. Believe my soul lives on. Don't worry. Now that I have gone, I have gone beyond to seek the truth. When you know that your time is close at hand, maybe then you'll begin to understand life down here is just a strange illusion. Holy Sheesh! This and you're, this is coming from a lyricist, a lyricist who loves lyrics. Okay, and in hip hop, we can't probably get a little too complicated with the double, triple, quadruple entendres because we're playing with phonics and ebonics to create different messaging. But I've always said it on this channel: simplicity is the highest form of sophistication. This story might sound simple. But it's not. It's deep. It's poetic. It's about life. It's about time. It's about God. It's about the soul. It's about where do you go and seeking the truth after this life. I'm floored. I'm absolutely floored. Iron Maiden. I'm not worthy. This is crazy. And I thought it was just like going to be some like devil satanic music because of their logo. And maybe that's in some of their music, but I'm not hearing that here. This is profound life, like life is flashing in front of me type sh before it's my time to go. Now, I don't know what type of crime he committed. Hell, maybe he was a rebel for justice and he did the right thing. You know, maybe he was a bad man. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. <laughs> merch of all time they have the illest merch of all time the illest t-shirts all of them wear it like a uniform mind blown
I'm shocked. I'm literally shocked. I, I don't even know what to think because here you are, have a hip hop kid, rap kid thinking that this is like, you know, devilish music or something. And literally singing Hallowed, Be Thy Name. What's the, uh, man, how can I, re- that kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Doesn't it connect to that? I haven't, you know, we started out Catholic, but we ended up being Baptist. But there's all the rosary stuff pops up in my brain. I'm like, this is just crazy on so many levels. And I have, I honestly don't know what to think. Actually, um, this is the part where you guys start tapping in in the comments. If this is a premiere, you're going crazy in the chat probably. But I just need to take a second. Um, You know, I don't care if you guys get off the video or not. I want to see the crowd. This is just nuts. It's insanity. Anyways, um, I want to look because I don't know anything about Iron Maiden. So when was, I normally don't do this. I normally let you guys answer it in the chat. Holy sh. Iron Maiden was formed in 1975. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so the band was formed in 1975, and you're telling me they're performing like that in 2008? They're all older and singing and playing at that high capacity? Holy sh... Are they still around? Oh, no. Don't tell me this bullshit. Don't tell me it. That's the first thing I was about to look. It says Iron Maiden singer dies. Please don't tell me he's gone. I hate these reactions. Patty Bowden, the enraged wife of Iron Maiden singer Bruce Dickinson, has been. Oh, what? Okay, hold on. Uh, let me just see. I, I hope. Let's just see. Iron Maiden still alive. Because I, I don't know. Iron Maiden or English. Oh, they're. And their English heavy metal band formed in England, in London, in fucking London. Bro. So this is, so now I'm connecting the dots for this Europe, this European invade. This is the European invasion. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I thought Iron Maiden was from America. Oh, Iron Maiden or England da, 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 by bassist and primary song. Or do they still do shows? But I don't know if they're if they're still if all the members are alive. However, it's returned because the guitarist Adrian Smith, da, 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 who originally left the band. Um, damn, I don't know if I have time to look all this up. Um, Iron Maiden original members. No wonder they they're it's just different. No freaking wonder. Cause that's a Black Sabbath. They're from London too. No, yeah, yeah. That's Aussie, right? Or is he Australian? Man, I get this confused. I'm dumb. Uh, no, don't degrade yourself. You're bright. You just don't know. You don't know Black Pegasus. You. It's just something you don't know. Stop degrading yourself. All right, Iron Maiden original members still alive. Uh, still alive. Let's see. Steve Harris and guitarist Dave Murray remain the longest surviving members of Iron Maiden. Original vocalist Paul Day was fired as he lacked energy and charisma. He was replaced by Dennis Wilcock, a KISS fan. Okay, I can't get into all this. You guys tap in. Let me know. Does Iron Maiden still play concerts, and are all the original members still alive, and do they play concerts together? That's my question. Um, Shout out to the UK. Shout out to London. You guys did it. You tricked me. You got me. Holy butt and blah. Fire. I thought Iron Maiden was an American thing. It absolutely isn't. I just automatically intertwined Iron Maiden with ACDC and freaking like p- groups like Metallica, which obviously they came way before and they set the tonality and it makes a bunch of sense why all these European rock groups sound like this um, from t- even today makes total sense. Holy f- in t- yo, I just witnessed his history. I literally did. Um, where is ACDC from? Bruh, I thought they're, I think they're American. Oh my God, I got to do an ACDC reaction. Oh my goodness. Fire. Iron Maiden. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm just rambling now. Thank you guys. Well, not thank you. I did this on my own. <laughs> thank me. Oh, thank myself. 
thank myself, but thank you guys for the answers and the comments you're going to give me. But thank you, Black Pegasus, for uh, choosing to listen to Iron Maiden for the first time in a video. This is flame. I love it. You guys like, share, and comment on all the content. If you rock with the vibe, subscribe, please. 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. FUQ.